All right, hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, we're in the garage again. Um, now this video, uh, I wanna focus on kind of a overview of how my, uh, my year of 2018 went. And uh, I'll talk to you guys about the mods that I've done to the car. So, we'll start up to the back of the vehicle. As you guys can see, we have the facelift Mark 7. 0.5 Euro tails for the uh, pretty much all of the golfs. I'm pretty sure they don't I don't think they make a uh, specific Type for each as they did with the previous generation But as you guys can see we uh, this is pretty much full LED and I'll show you guys what they look like on Put the hazards on as well So this is what they look like on um, if, you, uh, if you're unfamiliar, a lot of you guys pretty much know what these taillights look like already, but I think they absolutely fit the vehicle, especially in this color. It looks really great on my Midnight Blue. So definitely a great mod. I bought these off of BMP Tuning. They're about $450 and they pretty much plug and played uh, to my existing harness for the uh, Mark 7 Euro tails, which is something I wasn't expecting, but because they're replicas, uh, they kind of have the ability to um, just adapt easily so I, uh, I absolutely love these taillights they look great um, while they're doing their own thing I'll, uh, I'll show you guys a little bit what's going on up here we have the Maxton rear wing uh, or spoiler extension and uh, I absolutely love it I think it looks so good on this car uh, I went with gloss black simply because it matches with this uh, uh, this little piece right here and almost lines up. I could have done a little bit better with fitment, but you know, you shouldn't be in a rush when you do car parts, but I pretty much always am. <laughs> so I just stuck it on there and uh, I don't really care if it doesn't, you know, line up perfectly. Uh, it's totally fine. And as you guys can see, the one of my favorite places to take photos with this car is like right down here, where you can kind of get that uh, antenna out of the way. And of course with the dynamic turn signals, can't beat that, but Look at that angle, it looks so good. Um, personally, I think these cars should have come stock with like a little bit of a bump here, maybe even built into the uh, the existing spoiler. That would have been pretty cool. All right, so for the next mod, we're gonna pop open the hood. I'll show you guys what's going on inside the engine bay. So, at first glance, as you guys can see, it doesn't seem like it's changed at all since 2017. Uh, we have the APR intake, um, really nothing until you get to the way back and you can sort of see it, those three letters APR. We have the APR downpipe and uh, that is uh, fitted to the Borla S type that I have and that I installed in 2017. Because the car was so loud with a, uh, this is a catted downpipe, don't forget that too. Uh, it's like 300 cell as opposed to the stock 1200 cell uh, downpipe or catalytic converter that is. So after fitting this downpipe, the car was insanely loud and I couldn't stand it anymore. So uh, what I did was I actually went online and I purchased a vibrant ultra quiet resonator and it's fitted to the mid pipe section of the Borla S type. And so unfortunately they had a cut into the Borla S type, but you know, the car sounds a lot meaner now. Uh, it might not be as loud as it is, as it was uh, like, it was really loud. It was like, almost twice as loud as it is now. <laughs> um, but it has a really nice deep tone. It doesn't have that annoying rasp like it used to. Uh, as far as highway drone, I get a little bit of it, but it's not too bad. Uh, so that is that. That is the APR downpipe. And of course, as you guys were assuming, um, and you guys can see all the mods in my description, or if you guys already know, um, yes, this car is tuned. It is the APR stage two tune. Initially, I had this car uh, tuned to stage one and had the downpipe put in but uh, my activation code for stage two apparently was not working, so it wasn't allowing the car to get flashed to stage two. So about a month later, it got stage two tuning and it got the pops and crackles. And I, man, I fell in love with this car so much. I really, really love this car. When, and I still love this car uh, with the pops and crackles. I know a lot of people do not like APR and I totally respect that. Um, it's just their opinion. Uh, maybe they had a bad experience with it or they just don't trust the uh, company. I'm just not gonna go ahead and say APR is the best tune. I think there are a lot, a lot of better tunes out there, but um, because of the way I drive this car and the fact that I don't drive it all the time, um, I think APR was perfect for me. Uh, very, very easy to uh, tune and, it, I mean, it was a very quick, easy process, so 
Uh, that's why I went with APR. So one last thing I want to touch on, and I can't really show it, but uh, I have an O34 dog bone mount insert, um, and I absolutely love it. Uh, of course, you get a little bit of vibration, but I would love to cover that in a review in another video and kind of talk to you guys about my experience with the insert because I've had it for a year now. Because um, I pretty much got it right when I tuned the car. And uh, yeah, so it's holding up pretty good. I've had no problems with it. It's definitely giving me a little bit more traction. But so far, um, I really like what I've done to the car. Uh, as far as regrets, I can't think of anything. Um, I'd love to try another tune out, but you know, for now, because I've spent so much money on APR, you know, I'm probably gonna stick with APR. Maybe in the next car, uh, whatever that will be, we'll, uh, we'll see another tune. So, regardless, thank you guys so much for staying tuned. Thank you guys for such a great year. Uh, 2017, or 20, <laughs> 2018 was definitely one of the best years for this vehicle. Uh, I can't say it had really any collisions at all. Uh, which is good because that was an issue in uh, 2016 and 2017. I think it was pretty. It was all right. It, it, it's, it, uh, oh no! It Fox hit it right in the door. <laughs> so 2018, super good year for this car. This car saw a little bit more. Well, let's say a lot more power, um, and uh, it sounds pretty good now. So uh, yeah, I, I can't complain. It looks also much better with these tail lights and the uh, the spoiler. So. Um, hopefully in the next video guys, there will be uh, kind of an update on to what I'm going to do next to the car. I kind of want your guys feedback as to what you guys want to see on the channel and uh, any feedback as to what I should do next. So thank you guys so much for making 2018 such a great year and uh, I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace guys.